and good morning people welcome back to persona 5 royal we've found madarame's palace he's been plagiarizing works he's been abusing people but there's a small issue for us Really? What's in it for us? Kamishida had a... Um, there was a personal thing. We had... A reason to do that. Madarame? Not so much. The closest sort of interaction we've got to him is that we just met him recently and... Yusuke is a current student under him, and he seems content. We've got nothing really as a as a sort of incentive to. Uh, go and change this person's heart so what now the only thing we can do and is what we're going to do tomorrow is talk to Yusuke so let's call it a day go to bed and talk to him tomorrow Probably, yeah. I knew it. It ain't like she thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while, while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I I'm not wrong, am I? Not particularly, but again, we've got to have some stake in this. It's not really something that's come up in this particular instance, but where uh, if we just go and we usually said it here before, before I think it was before the actual thing with Amashida. If we just go around changing people for no reason, we're no better than, than them. So, uh, I really don't know. Sorry, man. I feel like I've been bothering you with too many questions. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. So, everyone's going to contact Yusuke. And, well, it might happen, it might not. It depends on if he responds. Uh, let's just say, though, he's been waiting for this call for a while, so it's likely going to happen. Really? Uh, just be yourself. Well, too bad for that. Uh, you, you've asked us to go as backup, so we're going as backup. I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Yikes. She got 
got hold of Mishima today, and it'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. We finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, mom's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Matarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean, prepared? Prepared for what? Something seem different about her to you? Um... Doesn't seem like it. I don't see anything different. I don't know. I feel like she's got more makeup on or something. Nope, I'm the same as always. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Matarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Hear her? It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Well, it's better than just sitting here. Don't get caught. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. In that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, 
still. Itago-kun. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. And the other pupils? I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Takamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever. What? Nude? Okay then. Uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Sensei is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely. I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? Uh, I don't think we're getting any further here, so we might as well just leave. Yeah, damn it. We got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Huh? Is she done being a model? A cat? You moron! Dare that you skate. The way he said it, it's not going to be semi, but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady Yon's gonna drop it. You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then Lady Yon. You're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses, too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. 
It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Takawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Um... Confident enough? school tomorrow oh it'll be a pain if miss president finds us on the rooftop again so uh, where to meet up let's see i guess that walkway like place in shibuya would work it's near madarama's place too changing our hideout periodically huh that's a plan i don't mind backing so we have now moved hideouts we're not on the school roof anymore we are in shibuya station Ordinary stalking fans. Uh. Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? Sayuri? Hmm. Unfortunately. We only saw it on the, on a phone, so we don't really know too much about the art. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. Well, we've suddenly got a uh, journalist card. Could be useful. Hey, it's me. Got a minute? Got a few, yes. We've only done one change of heart from the fan site. You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Way that name's come up a lot recently. That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. So we've got someone going to come to us about Matarame. And oh, is that true? Yeah, that's asking a bit too much at the moment. He is fully on the protection bit of Madarame, so all we can do is, well, talk to this person tomorrow. 
and see what happens. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. Yeah. As for right now, though, we've got anything we can do in the cafe. And since I can't do the thing that I wanted to do, maybe because I didn't buy that DVD the last time, um, we are going to... Hmm. You know what? Let's make some lockpicks. Let's actually uh, do this because I would like extra. There is a chance while doing the, uh, this that you can get double the amount of lockpicks or whatever you build and get extra proficiency. So I'm actually going to aim for that. So I'll be back once I hit it. There we go. Okay, we only got an additional one, but that still should be enough to give me an extra little bit of uh, proficiency. Yeah, so 5% proficiency instead of 3. Definitely good. Yes, so let's go and meet up with this Nakanohara person. Yo. We're about to head to the hideout too. Who's that? Excuse me. That's Nakanohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? My name is Nakanohara. Natsuiko Nakanohara. The one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. I think the change of heart must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. So, what do you want? You may have already heard that there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Madarame. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil going to confess his master's secrets? The Shadow did mention Madarame as well. I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well. A very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Right, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's orders and left, but he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again, please make Madarame have a change of heart. Not only for me, it's to save the life of another man as well. Okay. Whose life? still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, 
He also owes Matarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Matarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Matarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kitago Akun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice. But I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Matarame's heart. to act directly on behalf of one of Matarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Matarame's heart. Yeah, you know what I said about not having a stake in this? That it doesn't really affect us. One of the things that we do through Mementos is accept requests. This is a very serious request. It's ours now. Let's save Yusuke. Hell yeah! Matarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitago Akun really feels. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Matarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Matarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why aren't we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust us there. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitago Akun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Matarame. That's right. Hey, what is Matarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh, yeah. You go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here. We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? Oh yeah, we also have that personal stake in mind for... Okay. on, don't we? So, we've got 18 days until the exhibit ends. Mission, start. Special obstacles in palaces. Sometimes you'll, you'll encounter some obstacles which are impassable and require you to interact with them in the real world. You need to bypass these obstacles before you can continue in the palace and they generally take a day in the real world to bypass. So we need to at least have that in mind. And yes, there is one in Madarame's palace. What are we doing today? Uh, not doing anything regarding the palace. We've got some other things in mind. First up, I need to go and get all the SP items. So I'm going to go do that and then I will meet you where we are going to be doing things next. 
So yeah, give me a moment. Okay, so I've got those items that I was planning to get, the ESP items. I have a few of them now. Yeah, 16 of each. Get into some fair amount where I can actually use them, and I will be making use of them in the next palace actually. What we're here for in Central Street though is the airsoft shop. Because he has upgraded his items. Okay. Sounds good. What we had before was cookery. We are going to upgrade. Low burn or just plain damage. Um, at the moment I'm just going plain damage. That's what you're choosing. You like it? Because really I don't think we need anything else. So yeah. Hmm, that that. And yeah we don't need a weapon for Morgana because we picked one up in the actual palace just a few days ago. That's what you're like it. Range weapon. This Makarunov does have more rounds. However, I'm actually happy with the pistol that we got from the uh, from that bag because uh, yes, it's got less rounds, half of, half the amount, but it's still got more attack power and that shock. Strangely enough, that shock could come in useful. Everyone else, though, will be getting a upgrade. That's what you're too better not use it to pull a prank. Hmm. Don't break it, okay? Protective wise, though, I'm not actually going to be buying anything. Yeah, I've got other things I'm going to be picking up for this. So yeah, but we also have some things to sell. Uh, all this treasure that we got in the last palace, I haven't sold a little bit of it yet. Also the bits from our first little entrance into Madarame's palace. 21,000. You should be grateful. Yeah, that's our, this is going to be our main source of money coming in. Sure, we can do, we can go to all the jobs we want. It's still uh, still not better than what you can pick up in a, in a palace usually. I guess that's fine. You should be grateful. I guess that's fine. I don't need those shoulder pads. That attachment pearl isn't actually too bad. But we'll keep hold of that for now. And if I do really need additional uh, money at some point, that Soma is going to be on the list of things I will sell. And actually, more likely those, those homunculi will be the first things I sell, with the Soma being the second thing. Because what, that's 240,000 yen? That's a lot of money. Come again. So our equip, well, our weapons have been incre uh, are increased and upgraded. Where are we off to next? Well, yeah, we're going to have to spend some time with our physician here. So what are we going to do? We're going to do another clinical trial. This is for death number five, rank five. So 
Let's hang out. Please head to the exam room. <laughs> wow, that was quick. Seem to be getting a lot of calls lately. Yep. Wow, you've become a lot more open. Was it really your fault though? been well documented and everyone in the field knows about it. Led the development of a new drug for an incurable illness, Crawford, Crawford Enns disease. Ah, so they used a experimental medicine that likely hadn't been finished to try to cure it and something happened. Wait, is that really your pro uh, your fault? Okay. <laughs> I'm seeing nothing that uh, points it to your fault right now. If anything, it's this medical chief that has everything to do with it. Huh. Well... That's the issue. Is it not too late to get some forgiveness for it? That's fine, I guess. Yeah, and well, you likely wasn't wanted there under the pressure of that chief medical person. Yeah, and here we are. You haven't stopped trying to perfect this medicine though. And I can see why you're saying it's so no, expensive because you're likely going to have to go through some pretty dark channels to get at the materials you want, especially with the reputation that's been given to you. I suppose that's good. That probably doesn't give me too much in the way of uh, comfort though. Hey. We've stuck with you so far. You, you've stuck with us. Nothing's going to stop us now.
Def Rank 5. Add support items to the inventory at the clinic. Yeah, um... I'll be showing those in just a moment. And well, time to head home. After getting our two points of guts. Bye. Heck, you got a lot of things off of your chest that you likely wouldn't have said when we first came about. Actually, you wouldn't have said them, so... Seems like you're sort of coming round to yourself a little bit more. We are indeed. First up though, before we go back to the uh, thing. Okay. <laughs> There's a crossword to deal with, so let's do that first. Since it takes no time. So, what art is shown off and sold? You know what, I haven't actually done this one, so... Um... Oh, where art? The answer is gallery. Paris, M Paris Museum. That would be the Louvre. Mustachioed surrealist. That one's a mule. So know this one. Yeah, I wouldn't have got this one. I've actually just had a quick look for this one, and well, this is Dali. 
i.e. Spanish uh, Spanish, uh, sorry, Spanish artist, surrealist artist. I've not actually heard of this name before, so yeah, I would never have got it. So, a gallery. Luckily, the only one we need to do is that blue one, so at least I got that one right. And a couple of points in knowledge. Excellent. You got that? Yes, yes. We know you have drilled it into us as much as possible, Sajiro. So what were these items that Takimi added to our head to the item pool here? They're actually really good. Accessories. You want a shot? Why SP... Very good question. SP Adhesis. Items that Why do you have such a serious look on your face? Items that recover SP. Try not to suffer any unnecessary injuries. I want the data I collect from you to be of use. Yeah. Those items recover SP each turn. I think the the early one does five. The second one does seven and the last one does ten. They're really expensive. They are really, really expensive. That's why we're waiting for rank 7 before I buy any of those. And likely those homunculi will be sold for the SP recovery. Buy okay, items though. Which one? We've also got a few items here, the tech and mail. Taken Mega Z all discovers as 200 HP to all allies, one ally to full, 100% at these are the items in the uh, from the last time actually as well, 100% and HP in safe rooms, remove stat buffs from all foes, and remove stat buffs from uh, stat debuffs from all allies. I'm actually here to pick up a couple of Reviver Drins though. Uh, five should do. Here you go. Take care. So yeah, SP recovery items and SP per turn recovery items. Really, really nice. So now that we've done that, let's head over to the street orator. We need to do this, uh, speak to this person twice before we can actually gain him as a confidant. So this is going to be our first time doing it today, and he's in Station Square. Please consider what I have to say. We definitely are now. And yes, you have at the Beef Bowl restaurant. If you'd like. We're not going to be doing too much. He's the one making the speeches after all. And, well, politicians that you can't aren't in, well, hire us directly, but 
we uh, the only thing that we need to do right now is just attend and well we'll be holding up a sign and this is Yoshida he used to be a member of the Diet, one of the political groups, but no longer part of it. Very well. Everyone. So yeah, what we're doing is just holding up a sign, because... Yeah. But we get to listen in. That's what we're mainly doing here. Yoshida is very, very passionate about his view. And what he says usually makes a whole lot of sense. But he's got a little bit of baggage around him, which we'll find out about soon. And he's only really, really preaching to one sort of person. And when he really needs to be focusing on the wider goals. He also gets flustered very, very easily. Thank you. Well, there was the heckling side of it. But do you really have the best interests of all in mind? Because I hope you do. It's difficult. Do you even think you're going to be elected? You believe you can. But you're not certain about it, are you? You, you said that you've lost seven straight elections. That must play on your mind. No. Well then, I shall see you again soon. So nothing happens today with him. We haven't gained him as a confidant. It doesn't matter what options you choose, you will not gain him as a confidant today. So it's you. You did use this line before now that I think about it. But we will be talking to him again very soon, and that's when we will gain him as a confidant. In the meantime, hello Yusuke. I hope you understand. Allow me to warn you again. Don't involve yourself any further. And why would that be? Don't play dumb. I'm saying you're an inconvenience. I won't forgive you if you continue making a mockery of my sensei. Am I clear? This is a warning. Yeah, I don't think we're getting through to him. Well... I guess we'll just have to do it the other way. 
He is. But it also leads in to a question. Here's a question. Which famous Yukio artist of the Edo period is said to have moved residents over a hundred times? Um Well it's definitely not that one. Because we're talking about a period of time which is before this. I don't think it's that one. I'm going to guess this one. I don't actually know the answer to this one. So I'm going to guess the uh, the option two. Let's see if I'm right. That seems like the most pressing in choice there. Um, the one the reason why I didn't say the top one is Kitagawa is the same name as the as Yusuke, so uh, it didn't seem correct. So that's why I chose that was the second option. This is it. Oh, not bad. But then again, who knows? Yusuke could have been in. In a, in a long line of uh, artists and just the latest generation. Another two points in knowledge. Ah. Yeah. He may live there, but uh, hey. seventeen days left. We've got plenty of time. We're not going today. We've got rain. So you know what that means. We're studying. What type of study though? There, well, and there's also no confidants available whatsoever. Today, we are going to Central Street. Because this is where we're going to do our study. And while I remember... Would you like? Let's pick up Bubbly Hills 90210. There's only really one place you can study here, and well... It's the diner. This diner is... A little bit special in terms of uh, study. It doesn't give you as much knowledge as studying the library sh would do. However, there's added benefits to this. Oh. You can also improve other social stats. You still get the bonus if it's raining, and um, you get at the base rate of studying here is two points in knowledge while in the library is free however if you, if, if it's in in rain you get an additional two still so that's four but you depending on what you order you will gain another so social stat
added a new menu now that the renovations are finished. In the original version of the game this diner was opened from April and you could get these stats uh, or do, uh, do your studying here earlier. Now they've opened it up, up until uh, May so that's what they're meaning by the renovations I, was, I would guess. And well they've changed the menu slightly. They've actually expanded on it. Not by too much. The nostalgia steak is still the same. Um, you get kindness from it. The sando, the surprise sando though, used to be a coffee thing, I believe, and and you would get gut, uh, I think it was guts through that as well. But they've just changed the name of it. It's now actual an actual meal. But this is the one I'm going to be choosing. Surprise Sando. I need guts still. I've got two reasons to raise guts at the moment. Number one is for the shop owner in uh, at the airsoft shop. Hop. And there is another one that requires a little bit more guts as well. So we're going to be aiming for that. Surprise Sando it is. Uh. And what's the bad thing there? For real? So there's our two points in guts. Nice. And because it's raining, there's four points of knowledge. So six points overall, that's still, even though we don't get as much knowledge, it's still a net gain overall for what we've got, uh, what we could get normally. Six points instead of five. Yes, please. Wanna head back? Ah, you're back. We are indeed. Oh, not asking about the modeling bit. Oh. Yeah, he pretty much said the same thing this morning, didn't he? Yeah, I don't think we're going to get through to him. I think we've just got to go with the plan and focus on Madurame. Steal Madurame's heart. As for what we're doing today, well, number one, there's a TV quiz. This is very similar to the crossword. You answer a question, and also the question at school. You answer the question, you get it right, and you get knowledge. So today has been a very big knowledge day for us. So which of these is considered an offence? Unconsenting cut of hair, using noise to cause distress. One of them is considered a case of bodily harm. Which one? Using noise to cause distress. It needs to disrupt bodily function, even if there's no physical contact. 
cutting someone's hair, although considered very, very bad, it still doesn't disrupt a, bodily, uh, a body's functions, unfortunately. So it can't be counted as the same. It's a case for assault still, but it's not bodily harm. Nice going. So, our final thing today. Well, I did say I wasn't going to buy some armor, because we're going to the laundromat. All these, these bits of armor that we picked up, we can actually spend a little bit of yen here, 400 yen, and clean four bits of it. So, I'm going to do that. And well, I do want some decent bits out of this, so we're going to see what we can get. This is random chance. The item you receive is up to chance. So when we have some of this item, it's good. We can actually do this. So what are we going to need? I'm going to need two bits of mail armor, so that, that's the heavy gear. Uh, one bit of ladies' armor, which is is that, and well, the item, since we've got some sooty boots, Morgana can use that. That was from Mementos, wasn't it? So a little bit extra fine. So it also saved me a bit of money buying armor for Morgana. Let's see what we get out of this. I actually don't uh, don't know the main chances. So I'm going to have a look at this and see what I can get a couple of times and whichever one is good, I'm just going to go with that. Oh. And finished. Dutes coat, coat angels, uh, angel's cape and an old cat collar. Okay. That's fine by me. I think Dutes capes are fairly good. So we'll have a look after we've seen this morning's. I'm so depressed. Yeah, that place has a very big staffing problem, doesn't it? Yes, the grades. How did we do for that? Well, that person didn't do too well. That person's above average. And our score, a little higher than the average score. So we've passed. That's all that mattered for this particular one. sure you can get up to level 3 knowledge and be in the top 10 it does actually give you additional rewards but to spend so much time on knowledge just for a little bit of a something extra I think my uh, my time has been a little bit more worthwhile getting everything I'm still uh, Let's have a quick check of my current standings. I'm still roughly around 16, 17 points away from level 3 knowledge. You have to really focus on your study and to actually get into the top 10 of the exam scores. We will be aiming for top 10 later on, but right now we don't need it.
and our reward for this one is three points of charm. If we'd got top 10, that would have been five points, and also Sajiro would also congratulate us one evening coming up and say, here, here's a reward. I don't know what that reward is in this particular version. So, yeah. But I'm perfectly content with how, how I've done so far. I've got a nice wide array of stats. I will likely be focusing more on something else at some point soon. Knowledge will be one of them. But I'd want to make sure I can do everything I can with the confidants at the same time as boosting one speci especially. Ah, the counsellor. The counsellor uh, is available Mondays and Fridays only. There's only it's only available on those two days. So you do need to sp uh, plan your time a little around him rather than vice versa. Do need to spend some time with Ryuji still to to get him up to being able to put him as uh, raise his confidant level. However, today we're going to the palace. Sixteen days left. Sure, let's do that. Let's uh, equip those those armor bits though, because well. They are a very big increase. Duke's, Duke's Coast Oat gives 30 additional HP as well. Well, in addition to the 20 extra defense. Not as much evasion, but still. That's a lot of, of that's a lot better as a defensive item. Ryuji is also getting one. Morgana, the old cat collar. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have a Great, uh, and the same amount of defense, but the evasion rate on the uh, on it is still fairly good. Also gets magic plus one, and Arn gets the angel's cape. Evade magic medium, so much better chance of evading magic attacks. I also got a fairly good magic uh, evasion st uh, stat on its own. Right. So, next time, let's go to Madarami's Palace. See how far we can get. Until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.